Dave here for Access Real. We're in at Perth Supernova 2013. We're talking to Claire Kramer. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, very good. good. How, was, how was Sydney last week? You having a good time in Australia? Oh my gosh, I love Australia. It's my third time here. It's, you know, amazing. And the people are amazing. And of course, the Supernova events are amazing. So yeah. were I always love. you here for conventions before? Or? I was, yep. yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's my third time with Supernova and I just love them. Great. Yeah. Now, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what uh, made you want to go into acting? Was there any oh my anything gosh. in particular that inspired you or got your attention and made you think, oh, I want to do that? Or well, I mean, I've always been interested in the arts and I always knew that I wanted to pursue a career in the arts. Um, and at one point I was vacillating between dancing and yep. acting. <laughs> and I think it was actually my father that was like, listen, there's a lot more longevity in acting. So <laughs> go in that direction. So I can, right. I can thank my dad for that. Right. Okay. Nice. <laughs> but I think I was destined to be an artist. You know, sometimes I had a teacher once say, if you can picture yourself doing anything else, do it because it's very hard to be, you know, an actress. And yep. I was like, I don't think I can picture myself doing anything else. So yep. that was kind of what sealed the fate for me. <laughs> right. Okay. So early, of course, you were cast in Bring It On, mm -hmm. and then from there you went pretty quickly, almost straight away, into Buffy. Yes. Um, so how did those two opportunities come up for you? Well, actually, both of them, I was actually cast in both those projects before either of them had come out. Right. So I had filmed Bring It On, and I had gotten the role on Buffy, and it was almost like the, I think that my TV debut happened the same week that Bring It On came out. So yeah. it was kind of this like amazing, like, you know, moving the theaters, number one moving the theaters, great show on television. Yeah. It, you know, it never really works that way. So it was my, <laughs> it was like my little shining moment. Must um, have been a massive <laughs> change over a short period of time when those two things. It came certainly out. was. Yeah. yeah, it really was. It was kind of, you know, and it's funny because those were my two first real projects in Los Angeles, and it's where it's basically laid the groundwork for my friends as yeah. well. So <laughs> I'm friends with both the people from those projects. Right. Well, that sort of leads to my next question. You know, Buffy had been out for a few years. They'd done the, the high school years and they'd done a year of Buffy struggling through college. So it was a bit of a turning point in the show as she went into into adult life, so to speak. How mm -hmm. was it for you joining, a, you know, a fairly well-established show and a cast that had already been working together for a little while? Well, it's kind of akin to switching uh, switching grades in the middle of your high school, you know? You're, yeah. you're the new kid on the yeah, block, you're yeah. the new one coming in, and of course playing the big bad you know, everybody's skeptical of you anyway. Like, is she gonna last? I don't know, you know. So um, it, it was, you know, it was difficult, but on the other hand, the cast and the crew were very welcoming, yeah. and I felt very much a part of uh, the community. So in that way, it was relatively easy. Were you a fan of the show before you were involved? You know, I knew the show because I had a friend, Eliza Jushku, who was okay. also in Bring It On, who was on, you know, Buffy and Angel, and she yeah. had done the crossover. And so I had watched episodes that she had been in. So yes, I was familiar with it. I did like the show, but I can't say I had seen every episode from season sure. one. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, okay. Um, now, did you enjoy playing such a powerful character with Glory? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, she was amazing. It's, again, once in a lifetime type of role to play a god, to a hell god, yeah, you know, yeah. who was also trapped in a male form and who, you know, was so extravagant and glamorous as she. So, yeah, yeah. she was a great role. Now, of course, you've done a number of things since Buffy, but you've also gotten behind the camera with a bit of writing and directing. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Hard Love? Sure. Well, you know, that's one of the projects that I'm working on, my main focus outside of being in front of the camera has actually been um, a year ago I launched an online entertainment website, geeknation.com, yep. uh, where we have a network of podcasts, we have a selection of video shows, and we have a daily blog section. Um, and we have a sound stage where we generate all our content. So right. it's really exciting and it's given me the artistic ability to put my thumbprint on something more than just my acting yeah, performance. Yeah, right. yeah, Okay. Now you've also become um, involved in some charity work as well. Can you tell yes, us a little yes, bit about I, that? Um, I have always been drawn to philanthropy and you know, I have several charities that I put my time and energy and finances towards. And so, yeah. you know, American Red Cross is of course one of them and mm -hmm. Children International. And um, my sister-in-law and I have a charity that we started several years ago called Kids for Kids. Right. So okay. several different things. That's yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important. You know, yeah. we're so lucky to be able to make a career doing what we love that it's important that we recognize that and give a little bit back. Yeah. Okay. Even uh, if it's just a little. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's great. <laughs> um, so that's Claire Kramer down here at Supernova in Perth. Thank you very much for talking to thank us. You, thank you. Thank you, guys. Day. Absolutely. Hope to see you guys there. Awesome.